When there is no God, there would be no purpose for life. So as far as absolute purpose for everybody's life, like the one purpose that everybody has, no, we don't have that kind of purpose. But we do give ourselves purpose, you know, in our in our lives. Like we choose the purpose of our lives. If we were to try to assign some kind of transcendental purpose to life in general, it would be to just survive in whatever way that we can, however we can, indifferent to the morality of the situation. Survival would be this transcendent purpose to life, right? I mean, if you're looking for a transcendental transcendental purpose to life, that would be it. Uh, it's not to worship and praise God uh, or, or that God is the only thing that gives us any kind of purpose. We give ourselves purpose. I have multiple things that I consider the purpose of my life. For you to assert this without any kind of supporting evidence would just be fallacious. But I'm, I'm guessing that you're going to make some kind of harebrained argument for this statement. Let's see where you go with it. The sun is there to produce energy and light. The trees are there to produce oxygen and fruit. The animals are there to produce foods and clothes. The question is that who set these purposes? Who told them to do this or that? What is the purpose of our life? For rational mind, everything has a purpose, and for sure there is a purpose for life, and there is a creator who set this purpose. This is just bullshit rhetoric. I mean, the sun was here first and it fused atoms together, producing light for the longest time before plants even made the scene here on Earth. So to say that, you know, the sun produces this light and energy for plants to consume and everything like that, you're just totally ignorant of the timeline of how these things actually came to be on our planet. Of course, that stems from the fact that you think that God created everything all at once and then he created to the sun so that he could feed the plants food like the sun the sunlight the photons are the food for the plants on the earth and then how are you really reducing the animal life on our planet to just oh the purpose of these things are for food and clothes motherfucker have you even read the creation story of the abrahamic faiths because that's that's ultimately where islam stems from is the abrahamic faith so i mean they have a lot of the same characters i mean they even have jesus in in common adam and eve were like naked. They were buck naked and there were still animals around in, in the Garden of Eden. Like there were animals everywhere, right? So it's not possible that animals were created to be belts and food. Like there's no way that God created animals to be clothing and food when he created all of them prior to the need for clothes. This just doesn't make sense. A human being, regardless of who they are or where they are, or what they do will have this curiosity. They'll want to know, why am I here? How did I get here? And do I have a purpose? And if so, what is it? Well, how did you get here? Um, well, your parents, one day the power went out and um, they made little whatever your name is. That's how you got here. Uh, why am I here? And all these other things you can come up with several different answers for that. As far as like a definitive, absolute answer for why are you here? I don't really think that you need an answer for that. You're here. Why does there have to be? This goes back to the whole purpose thing. Why does there have to be some kind of ultimate purpose for you to be here? Like there's some grand plan and you being here is some kind of fulfillment of that plan. Why can't can't you just be here? Why does there have to be some kind of transcendent reason for you to be here? Why can't you just accept that you're here and live your life? The only one who would really be able to answer that question would be the creator himself. If there is a creator, it would be up to him to tell us why we were created and what he expects from us and what this life is really about. I don't really think that I need some maniacal asshole in the sky to tell me why I'm here. I don't really need to know why I'm here. I don't think that this is really a concern that you really need to be thinking about because you are here regardless of the reasons why, other than your parents fucking each other. Allah has shown the people from the time of Adam until right now has shown the people what he wants from them. And it's a very simple thing. And that is that worship be for him alone without any partners. 
Well, you see, that just makes him a bit selfish, doesn't it? I mean, it, that's the only thing that he wants. This is what I'm talking about with the whole purpose thing. They want everybody on this earth to have the same one purpose, and that's to worship God. They want everybody to forego what they think about things and have their own thoughts. Like, you know, not their own individual thoughts, but like they want to have the Islamic thoughts, the thoughts that Allah just wants us to worship him and they that's the ultimate purpose to our lives. Now, now that I, I think about it as an atheist, and I didn't even think about it when I was a Christian, but this is so ridiculous to consider that the entire purpose and reason as to why we are here is to praise God. It makes him sound insecure. It makes him sound like he's the guy that's the big dog in the yard, and he just needs all the other little guys to keep reminding him how awesome he is. And they need to keep praising him, making him feel good, because he can't feel good himself. It makes him sound emotionally manipulative and emotionally toxic, which he is, at least in the Bible and in the Quran and the Jewish Bible. Just all the Abrahamic ones are pretty, pretty much the same. In fact, we know this life to be a test from Almighty God. That's why we're born and that's why we die, because there has to be a beginning and an end for us to be tested on. This just seems like an extra step, right? I mean, it seems like a game that God's playing with us. I mean, God creates people so that he can test them. But then again, God creates us specifically and he knows what's going to happen in our lives. He, to quote the Bible or the Old Testament in general, that he stitched us in our wombs, in our mother's wombs, right? He stitched us together. He, he created us. He knows what we're going to do with our lives. So he creates us to live a specific life as a test. I mean, I mean, that's like a teacher creating a test that they already know the answers to in order to test themselves about how well they know the answers that they made up. How fucking dumb is that? 